of our mold and leak here, just as I thought, I took the scissors and just dug it into the wall and the wall just sliced away like butter because it was saturated with water. Here you can see the problem right here, it's dripping. See it right there, it's just dripping inside the wall. The reason why this is dripping is this is the, uh, I forget the name, I think it's called polypropylene or something, but it's, everybody knows it as the gray plastic piping, which is illegal to use now. This is a banned uh, material now for builders, but this unit was built in the early 80s, I believe on the last year that they were able to use it. So this condominium association has a known problem with it, and we just found out where it's happening. So here I've come around to the other side of the wall where we cut a little hole in the living room there to expose it. And you can see how it's just dripping like crazy. So it's a good thing they, they had turned off the water last week. We turned it on right now just to do this test. But you can see how, just how much water is dripping there. And see that wood right there? It's, it's, it's soaking wet. The whole inside of this wall is soaking wet. There's ants everywhere attracted to it. The wall feels pretty soft. We can push our thumb into the drywall here. Oh. Now on the living room floor along the baseboards, you can see there's mold. It's small. It's not like a whole lot. Um, I could breathe in here without the mask. I had the mask on earlier, but there's really not a whole lot of mold here. But certainly, I would say probably halfway up, both walls are going to have to be replaced. And you can see, now we had previous water damage in here on these floors. Okay. And, but now you can see the mold is growing. That wasn't even here a couple of months ago. So, there it is, solved. Probably all this tubing is going to have to be pulled out of here and replaced with PVC. What I don't understand is why builders in their right minds ever use this garbage to begin with. It's just stupidity. How much cheaper is this stuff than PVC? I mean, really, folks just to save a buck. Okay, so we opened up the wall a little bit more here to see exactly where it's coming, and if you look really closely, right there, see it? See how it's, it's like gushing up against the back drywall there? We're cutting a hole on the other side right now. We're gonna walk around and take a look at it to see what's causing that. But you can see there's some uh, mold spores that are starting to grow back in the corner there on the stud next to this pipe. This is just garbage pipe. Nobody should ever use it, ever. I just made it worse, I cracked it. Okay, so here you can see how it's just spewing right there. We removed the drywall on the backside and it's just spraying into the kitchen now. So essentially this is what was happening. It was spraying inside the wall the whole time. Okay, so here we expose the wall just a little more to see all of the piping that's in there. We cut the water off now, so the leaking has stopped. It's not spraying anymore onto the kitchen counter. And, but the good news is, is all of this piping is contained in this wall, so the kitchen is there. And then there's the vertical components that go upstairs to the bathrooms and showers. And then the guest bathroom is right here to the left of it. So all they have to do is rip out this one wall, replace the piping in there, and put the drywall back. And they may have to fix the drywall along the living room floor here over here too. Usually you want to go about three feet beyond where you see any mold. It all depends on how far up the water wicked off the floor.